Hello children, welcome back to Sunday School. Happy Sunday to you all and I hope you had a very restful night. As we have been looking at, the main umbrella for this year is who is this Jesus? You want to ask yourself that question? Who is this Jesus? But before we go on, I am Aunt Lucy and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for another Sunday. And as we learn at your feet, O oh Lord, open our eyes to behold wondrous things from your Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. So, children, the sub theme for this section is Jesus in the Old Testament. We have looked at Jesus being in creation. And today, we want to see how Jesus was in the Old Testament as a Lamb of God. Jesus is the Lamb of God. And we shall be looking at some Bible passages to buttress our understanding of Jesus as the Lamb of God. So the topic is the sacrificial lamb. Can I hear you say it? The sacrificial lamb. And our texts are Genesis chapter 22, 1 to 2, 6 to 13, Hebrews 11, 17 to 19, and 1 Peter 1, 18 and 19. Let me take them again. Genesis 22, verses 1 and 2, 6 to 13. Hebrews 11, 17 to 19. And 1 Peter chapter 1, 18 to 19. Our memory verse, which we shall learn afterwards, is from John 1, 29. And then the main trust is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Now, do you remember Abraham when he was asked to sacrifice Isaac? As the story in Genesis 22, 1 and 2, 6 to 13. And Abraham did not deny God his only son. He obeyed and God rewarded him with a lamb, which he used to do the sacrifice. So, there, God used that to pinpoint to us that later on in life, he's going, later on in the history of man, is going to make Jesus the Lamb of God. And so, what are the lessons in this? One, when we learn to trust God and depend on God, everything good comes out of it. God will always make a way for us as long as we trust Him. And then obedience and faithfulness to our Master, to our God, brings rewards. Not just one reward, rewards. And we can see it in the life of Abraham, giving his son willingly, and God rewarded him. And that is why we know him as the father of faith. Another lesson we can learn from this is God definitely does not want us to kill people, to go do things in a very bad way in order to have a good, a, a, a good end. No. And that is why sometimes we have the saying that the ends justify the means. But sometimes we have to be very careful what kind of means do we have to get to the end. The end must have a good end and must be able, we must be able to achieve the end through good means. So, our means to justify the end must be good. So remember, Jesus is the Lamb of God. 
Now, in Hebrews 11, 17 to 19, we are made to bring back how Jesus started, how the picture of Jesus as the sacrificial lamb was brought into the Old Testament. And we're told that obedience is the very best way to show that we believe. And Abraham exhibited that. And we saw, saw it play out in Jesus coming in form of man and dying in order to save mankind. Remember the song, obedience is the very best way to show that you believe. Passion is the key to it immediately. Joy you will receive. And so, let us remember, obedience shows that we believe in Jesus. And we should always give willingly that or your offering mommy gives to you. Give it out willingly. Don't hide it. Make sure you use it for what mommy asks you to use it for offering and don't use it for ice cream or for biscuit and whatever we know that we have to give to our friend don't give your friend based on the fact that your friend will give you back for instance you want your friend to give you you want to give your friend biscuit so that your friend can give you ice cream that is not the way to do things let us give out willingly and we're told all things around us are from are sent from heaven and so we should learn to what thank god so whatever god gives to us and he asks us to give back let us give it out willingly just like abraham did and today we're talking about abraham as the father of faith in 1 Peter chapter 1, 18 and 19, we're told to appreciate the finished work of Christ. Jesus came into the world to die for our sins. He paid the price for our sins once and for all. And so, in the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever from the cross my ransom soul nothing then shall serve jesus is the lamp of god and so that brings us to answer the question who is this jesus and jesus in the creation he is the lamp of god who was sacrificed for our sins in order to reconcile us back to God. And we can see that play out. Who is this Jesus? As we, as the umbrella, Jesus in the creation is a lamb of God who was sacrificed for our sins in order to reconcile, reconcile us back to God. We can see that in Colossians 1, 20. He paid the price he did not owe. I earned the dirt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I can sing a brand new song, amazing grace. Lord Jesus paid the debt. And so children, remember, when Adam and Eve sinned, our relationship with God was, became bad. But Jesus rectified this by becoming the Lord of God. And so he brought us back to God. And now we are friends of Jesus especially those who ask Jesus to be their Lord and Savior. Have you invited Jesus to be your friend? He's ever ready. 
to be your friend. He knocks on the door. He said, Behold, behold, I stand at the door and knock, knock, knock. So have you answered him? If you have not, this is an ordered Sunday. This is an ordered day for you to open the door, for your friend to come in and die with you. And if you're ready to do so, let's close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, I want you to be my friend. Come in and remain with me so that I can be a friend to God again and again and forever. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. So, say the prayer again. Play it back and say the prayer. And Jesus is ever ready to be the sweet and best friend ever. Before we go on, let us learn the memory verse. And so, our memory verse is taken from John chapter 1, verse 29. So, listen to it first and then you repeat after me. The day, the next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. John 1, 29. So are you ready to repeat after me? John 1, verse 29. John 1, verse 29. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of of the world. John 1 verse 29. And so, my friend, it's time to go. But before we go, listen to the Bible verses and learn and listen and hear it play out to you. And whatever you hear is what God wants you to hear. And he wants to really be your friend. If you have been the friend of God, never turn, never look back. Don't tell him no. Continue with him and run with him throughout this week. May God bless us all. Have a wonderful week. See you.